Hey everybody, Kyle here, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Jet Set Future Radio. In the last part, we cleared out Rokaku Dai Heights. We we went there and we sprayed graffiti all over all of Poison Jam's graffiti. We fought the cops a few times, and DJ Professor K told us that uh, we need to go to 99th Street now. So that's where we're heading. Uh, so I decided to change my character from the last part. You know, we've played Corn, Yo-Yo, and Beat, and now we're going to Gum. And then she's like the last of the three starter characters that we need to play yet. Um, and then we'll do Combo and, and Rith, uh, at a, at another, at a different point. Um, okay. So, we'll talk more about Gum in a bit, but for now, let's just go into... Rap, uh, 99th Street. Mm, this is 99th Street, the city's hottest nightlife scene, centering around Benton Tower. Here is just one bloody showdown after another, because it's where the Mafia Kingpins keep their offices. And there's been some bad stuff going down lately, ever since the mysterious power outage. Mm. And Rapper 99 seems to have made this their home. All right, my people, it's time to give 99th Street a new paint job. Okay, so apparently there was a power outage here, but I mean, you can't really tell. It doesn't, uh, it looks like there's still plenty of power, but maybe the power outage happened, uh, at a earlier time, I would assume. Um, okay, so this, this place, 99th Street, the main feature of it is this dragon here, uh, this, this tower, they call it the Benton Tower. Oh, I'm gonna take falling damage. God. Um, but yeah, so, this, this main tower, or this tower is the main feature of this area, and something that we'll have to, um, use for a race that we'll have, uh, later on. Um, and another thing about 99th Street is that it does lag a lot. Um, that is something that I need to, uh, warn you guys about, so just, just bear with the lag. I mean, I can't very much help it. Um, I think it did this in the original version, and I know... I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not something that's just uh, unique to the the backwards compatibility version. Um, but yeah, and then another thing is that, that that lag gets worse if you play as Korn and then come here, because not only is the game just lagging because this area lags for some reason, but it's also lagging because... Uh, you have Korn's jacket physics going crazy. So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. Just don't play Korn here. Um, it's not not a good idea unless you want to play it like 10 frames per second or something like that. Um, yeah, so I don't think there's any trivia. Uh, well, okay, there is one little bit that I, I just remembered uh, about 99th Street. So you can actually... Uh, play a course that's modeled after this area in uh, Sonic and, and Sega All-Star Racing. Um, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's just Sega and Sonic All-Star Racing. It's not the the transformed uh, version. Um, and I think that version that version is just like a um, it's a newer version of that game. Uh, like a, like a a, I don't want to say a sequel, that's the wrong word for it, but... But yeah, this is a racetrack that you can... You can play, or that you can race on in... Sega... And Sonic All-Star Racing, I think that's the third time I've said that. Uh, but yeah, as I did with Rikaku Die Heights, I'll probably put up a screenshot or two. And then you can kind of see that... It does actually look pretty similar, I, I mean, I have seen... Screenshots of that track before, and it does look pretty cool. Um, but, you know, nothing beats the actual, um, course in this, or the actual area in this game. Uh, but Rapid, or, but I keep saying Rapid 99 because that is the name of the gang that we'll find here eventually. But 99th Street is, uh, a pretty, uh, crap, I think I wanted to be up there. Um, it is a, a decent area, I mean, once you get past the lag. Uh, the only thing is... Uh-oh. Squadron commander to all personnel. 
the suspects have returned. If you get them in your sights, fire at will. Oh, okay, so, um, yeah, now we have these, like, weird truck things, these weird spotlights with guns on them, uh, and we're gonna fight two sets of these things, and they're not that hard, all you have to do is jump on them and grind up their, uh, tower thing, and, uh, spray them, and they're not really that hard, probably the most annoying thing is the fact that they can shoot at you, um, and I guess that picking gum for this area was kind of a bad choice because uh, gum is actually uh, one of the characters with the least he amount of health. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of a downside, but you know, I think we'll make it just fine. These things aren't that hard to take down, and it's it is kind of hard to get shot by them a little bit, and there is plenty of health, so. Um, I'm not worried, uh, but I guess I could uh, say the other thing I was going to mention about Gum. Uh, sh some people think that she's based off of uh, a manga and anime character named, named uh, Simka, or I think I don't think that it, the character's name is Simka, but it is, or maybe it is a character. I don't know. I'll put up a screenshot of that character if I can find a picture of him. But apparently. Uh, they're based off of Gum's, uh, design in this game, which I thought was kind of neat. Uh, and Gum is also playable in, uh, Jet Set Radio. I think she is actually named just Gum. I don't think they changed her num for this, this, her num? Her num? <laughs> I don't think they changed her name for this game, but if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll put something up, but pretty sure it's the same. And she had a very similar design, too, as far as I can remember. Uh, okay. Oh, so spraying the graffiti in 99th Street is probably the worst thing about this area because there's all these lines up here that you have to skate on and spray the graffiti from there. Um, coming here this first time is definitely not as bad as the time you'll come here later on and spray graffiti because they're, they put a lot more on these lines uh, the second time you have to come here. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind, but just, this first time, it's bearable, but it is still very, very, very annoying. Um, yeah, see, we still have three more that's in that upper area, um, of this section of 99th Street. Um, the, the only advice I could give is just to take this area slow, and just try to look on your map for all these spray points. And hopefully, you don't have that much trouble finding these uh, these, these points. Um, yeah, I guess <laughs> one thing that kind of makes up for the annoyingness of finding all these points is the fact that this this uh, 99th Street is just filled with AI, and uh, there's there's a lot of AI that's just around dancing, and it is uh, entertaining. Especially when you actually watch them for a little bit and see what kind of crazy things they do. Um, and also, I haven't talked about the AI up to this point, but... Oh, crap, I wanted to be up there. Uh, but the AI, if you run into them, they say all kinds of crazy things. Um, and uh, at some point, uh, I'll actually show off what, what, they, what each AI actually says, because I think each... Uh, AI model that you can find has a specific thing that they say, and it's it's awesome. Um, okay, I think I need to be over on this side. Okay, there's one of the sp points over there. Okay, there we go. And then there's another point somewhere here, I think. Um, right? Or no? Okay, there is, and it is super close. Eh! Okay. Yeah. I hate this. This, uh, I hate spraying graffiti in this area. Is it, like, down? Um, I don't want to fall down if it's not there and then have to get all the way back up here. Um, welp. Here goes nothing, I suppose. Eh! 
Um, oh, there it is. Okay. And now we can go on to the other section that's here. Alright. Uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough so far. Um, I'm having a lot of fun recording it and editing it as well because, like, I, it, most of the games that I play and record for you guys, um, I don't really like to just watch myself play it. Or, okay, I guess that's the, the wrong way to say that. I, it's not that I don't mind watching myself replay and commentate over a game. In fact, I actually find myself uh, entertaining. That, that sounds really uh, full of myself. But it's like, you know, most people I don't think like to hear themselves talk. But for me, I really don't mind it. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, and, and I, I've and most of the time that I do a Let's Play, I, I kind of find it boring watching myself uh, replay a part of a game that I have already played. Um, you know, because I do actually go back and watch all of my videos before... Um, I render them and upload them because I want to make sure that um, I'm making them as, as good a quality as I can. Um, but yeah, I, I have found editing this, this playthrough to be a lot of fun. Um, mostly because I could just see this game that I really love and also hear the music. Um, and I hope you guys are also liking the, the trivia that I've been doing with, with the music and just the things in this game in general. That's that's been uh, really entertaining, and I've been actually learning a lot uh, about this game that I didn't know before. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are liking it too. Just uh, leave me feedback. I, I love getting feedback from you guys. So if you're watching this video, put a, put a comment in the the video if you are in the comment section. If you want, I don't care what you say. You can call me a a big fat fuck nut dickhead. Uh, actually, don't call me that. That's kind of a rude thing, and I might actually bleep that out. Um, but yeah, you could you could just say whatever you want. I don't even care. Um, and I do read all the comments, of course. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, yeah, just more of these spotlights, I guess. Um. And this is the only area that you see those in. So that's something that's kind of interesting. Um, I mean, it's better than tanks. Uh, I guess I already got that one. Huh. Um, gotta go back this way, I guess? Okay. Yeah, and I don't think there's actually a name for those. Uh, or else I probably would have had it in my notes here. But, yeah. So once we take care of this one, we won't see these things anymore, which... Oh, it, it just breaks my heart. Um, <laughs> okay. There's going to be a lot better um, things that the police are going to have come after us. A lot uh, a lot more cooler things, I guess. Um, okay. So more graffiti up here in this area, or on the top here. Um... Okay, as long as I like stay on the lines while I'm chill, still trying to find the graffiti that's here, I really don't mind. Um, but it's just when I fall down and have to get back up that it gets really annoying. There we go. Okay, and apparently there's a bunch of graffiti around this area. Probably down. Oh yeah, yeah, I did see that coming in. Um, okay, okay. Oops, am I going forward, backwards? I guess I was going backwards. Um, okay. Well, I think in this part of 99th Street, most of, most of the graffiti is actually down, or in this lower level, which is good. Saves me the trouble from having to worry about um, getting in the upper, upper area so much. Uh, okay, but apparently there's a big pocket over there that I still have to get yet. Um, and it is up on this upper level. Um, apparently I'm coming up on it if I just keep going this way. Can I get to that area from here? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, as long as I don't fall off, everything will be peachy keen. 
Um, but I think I do have to actually... Uh, oh, okay, there is a string that goes over this way. Okay, here's a budge bore. Uh, four more to be exactly, and I think this is actually it for this side of 99th Street. Okay. I was worried that that was going to be more annoying than it actually was. Um, whoop, except that's not the way that I want to take out of this area. Because... Or maybe it is. Maybe... Oh, well, shit. Um, so apparently there's another graffiti that's uh, back this way, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just going to go this way and hope that it works out. Um, in, in some of the areas that we're going to be coming up to pretty soon, uh, getting the graffiti isn't that bad in those areas. Um, so I guess that's... That's something to look forward to. Um, it's just 99th Street is especially annoying when it comes to the graffiti. Um, okay, I think I want to get up on that line. Because um, there's one more point that we have to get in this area. Oh, the lag. Oh, crap. Okay, I found the graffiti point, and I had to actually cut there because I just spent a couple minutes trying to find out how to get this point up here. And I really want to get it from down here, but I don't know if that's possible. Because um, I can't exactly figure out the line that lets me get up there, but can I? Uh, crap. Oh man, okay, these lines are incredibly annoying annoying and that's probably the only thing that makes 99th Street so bad um, okay but I came back to this area of 99th Street because I did miss uh, a spray point um, but no biggie because we just got it um, and I did actually mess up getting these points because are the the remaining points because they're all in the, the entrance area for 99th Street. Um, but you do want to be on this pink line to get that because they are up in uh, the top of that area. Okay. So, shit. Crap. Crap. Everything's bad. Okay, I'm trying this again. Everything was fine, basically, until I tried to get that graffiti soul. Uh, but I think we're okay now. Except that I... Well, I think this is still going to take me around to the right area. As long as I jump. Okay. Um, and no, that's not the line that I want to exactly be on. Gum, you stop that. You stop! You stop! You didn't stop! Okay, so apparently you can get on these pink lines by being on the dragon. Um, or jumping off from the dragon. And I really wish I had noticed that sooner, because I would have saved myself a lot of grief. Uh, oh my goodness. But I think we're going to be okay now, as long as I get these two other points. Uh, and not have to get on this again. Okay. And where is that last one? I'm ready for it. Um, looks like it's coming up a little bit. Yeah, there it is. Oh my goodness. The only bad part about 99th Street, besides the lag, is these lines and spraying the graffiti. But we did it. And uh, everything is good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Poison Jam's worst enemy, Rapid 99, has been seen on 99th Street. Okay, so once you spray all the graffiti um, in Rakakudai Heights, Chuo Street, and 99th Street, uh, Rapid 99 appears. And they're basically the rivals to Poison Jam. So maybe they'll help us find out uh, where Poison Jam is hiding out. Because with the last in the last part when we were in Rakakudai Heights... Well, I oh. guess it just takes a little persuasion. To get info from the queens in 99th Street. Yeah, when uh, when we finished up uh, 
running after Poison Jam in Rikaku Dai Heights. They basically fled into the sewers. Uh, you want to go back to Garage, or you need to go up to the overhead up there. All you have to do is jump on the dragon's tail. He'll take you to the top. Okay, well, thanks. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully Rapid99 will be able to um, tell us where Poison Jam is hiding out. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be it for this part. Um, all I did was spray their graffiti and ramble on about things. Um, so I'm sorry if that wasn't the most entertaining thing ever, but oh my gosh, that, that deserves its own part. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And I hope you'll join me next time when uh, we talk to Rapid99 and do some stuff with them. So I'll see you guys then.